three. Okay, so today we're going to demonstrate how we determine the density of mineral hand samples. So I have some different minerals here, and we're going to measure the density. Now we're going to we have to do it in two steps. Density is the mass over the volume, right? So that's mass in grams over volume in centimeter cubed. We're going to measure the volume indirectly by measuring the mass of water displaced. And since the density of water is 1, the mass of water displaced is also the volume of water displaced. OK, so which one do you want to do first, Mara? Let's do sulfur. OK. So this is a piece of sulfur. It's an ugly piece, but it's got that light yellow color that we know of sulfur. We're going to put it on the scale. And its mass is 14.07 grams. Now to get its volume, I'm going to wrap this little wire around it. Put a little hook on there. Uh-oh. We've already measured that the wire has a volume of, what was it, 1.1? You remember? About 0.2. About 0.2. All right, so this, this cup of water is on the scale. It's zeroed to zero. What's going to happen when I put this in is it's going to measure the amount of water that is displaced by the mineral. So I put this in. And we see that it's about 7.4. Let's say about 7.41. Okay, now since the density of the water is 1, that means that that 7.41 um, cubic centimeters. But we all have a little correction for the wire. Point two. Okay, so that's 14.07 over 7.21. Okay, that's the first one. Let's do the next one. What do you like? Um, let's do quartz. All right. No, I changed my mind. Corundum. Corundum. So this is corundum. Um, very hard. I can feel it's, it feels dense. Let's see what happens. Twenty-eight point oh five. Okay. We will see how what the volume is. About seven point. Get round at this 7.2 probably. Let's just we'll keep it right. And then subtract the two. Comes out to an even seven. Yeah, we'll call it 7.2. So 2. Okay, you can do the math on that one. All right, let's do quartz this time. Eighteen point one seven. Okay. Now I get this thing happening where I'm losing mass 
in the water all the time. Why am I losing mass on my water? Probably because the mineral is getting wet when you take it out. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Little evaporation, also a little loss on the wet mineral. I bet it's wet mineral effect. Here we go. Looks like about 6.95. Let's see, 6.95. Minus my 0.02. That's 0.2. 6.95. Cubic centimeters. Quartz. I can grab this garnet. It's a nice big garnet. You can see this red garnet in beautiful crystal form. Very common for garnet. It's a heavy one. 36.47. Okay. Hope that one doesn't come off the wire. No, I know. This is going to be a little tricky. Oops. Masterful. We'll see about that. Okay. 9.5. Nine point oh five minus point two is eight point eight five. Okay. And we're gonna do one more. This is galena, lead sulfide, it's very heavy. It's not a very big piece, but let's see what its mass is. Okay, so it's not quite as massive as the garnet. Thirty-three point two five grams. Oops, what am I doing? Put the garnet back. In. I didn't even notice. <laughs> Okay, volume looks to be about 4.9. So, volume equals 4.90 minus 0.2, which equals 4.7 cubic centimeters. So, there you have it. Did it have all that? Mm-hmm.